The artist Horst Gleska in action. The contrast between chaos and order is a main motif of his work. He appears to use an overabundance of forms and colors in his so-called brush dance. Workers at the Schmey Steelworks in Langenfeld. Successful teamwork at the furnace and during casting is essential for the production of high-quality cast steel parts. That includes the highly efficient use of energy and raw materials. The exuberance that is part and parcel of the art world has no place in modern industry. And yet, there is a connection between Gleska's work and the efficient casting of stainless steel. For the creation of his sculptures, the artist uses the fine materials of the Schmey steelworks. The mirror finish creates a reflection and a refined quality in the work I do by chance. The brush strokes that come about through chance are transformed into the highest precision and the highest modernity. At the family-owned Schmey Steelworks, 370 people work in the molding shop, foundry and other departments. The company has two locations, one in Saxony and another near Dusseldorf. Workers here create parts for desalination plants in Egypt, oil pumps in Siberia, or meat grinders in Bavaria. After they're cast, some parts are further processed in a turning shop. Workers there produce important components for the food and chemicals industries and for the mechanical engineering sector. On average, no more than four pieces of each cast part are produced. Yet each year, the total amounts to more than 35,000 parts. Some parts contain segments just half a millimeter thick. The company specializes in extremely productive, yet highly precise manufacturing. The heart of the company is the furnace. This is where the ingredients for the cast parts are melted down. Most of the material is scrap metal that ends up being recycled here. To refine the iron, workers add alloys containing chromium, nickel and molybdenum. These agents ensure that the high-grade steel is non-corrosive. The steel parts can then withstand the highly aggressive acids and lyes in pumps. To reach the optimal quality, steel should cool down not too quickly during the casting process. That's why the ladle into which the molten steel flows during tapping is preheated over an open flame. This process, however, involves considerable heat loss. The technicians in Langenfeld have come up with a solution by installing an innovative ladle heating station. It was developed by a company specializing in gas burners. Until now, the ladle only reached high temperatures in places where it made contact with the flame. The new technology no longer requires an open flame. The gas burns in a special matrix, something like a ceramic sponge. The matrix releases its energy directly into the ceramic structure, making it red hot. 
the heat flows further into a so-called radiation body. This body fits perfectly into the ladle. The resulting infrared radiation evenly heats the ladle's inner surface. At the same time, waste heat is conducted along the inner surface, providing additional heat through the process of convection. After reaching an internal temperature of 1,000 degrees Celsius, the radiation body is removed. The ladle is now uniformly heated, reaching temperatures about 300 degrees hotter than those created using the conventional open flame method. And thanks to the more efficient technology, the casting technicians were able to reduce by half the amount of gas used to heat the ladle. A further advantage of the new technique, since the ladle now reaches a higher temperature, the stainless steel takes longer to cool down. That way the steel doesn't need to be quite as hot for tapping. And that means less electricity is needed to heat the surface, saving even more energy. And there's another decisive advantage for the quality of the cast metal. During the casting process, the liquid metal has to reach a certain temperature when it's poured into the mold. If it's too cold, the steel will solidify too quickly, failing to fill out the entire mold. If it's too hot, the mold may adhere to the hot metal. But since the ladle is uniformly heated, the molten metal also reaches a uniform temperature. That way the steel maintains its ideal temperature of 1,600 degrees Celsius during the entire casting process, even when it's poured into the mold. This technology could be used in foundries that process iron, steel and other metals. The German government supports such measures through various programs. The advantages of this new process clearly result in resource efficiency. We are able to use lower temperatures in the smelting process, we have better control of temperatures in the ladle, and the result is a better quality cast. Immediately after casting, the cast part is removed from the mold and placed in a special furnace, where it receives a heat treatment for another two hours or so. A gas flame provides a temperature of more than 1,000 degrees Celsius for the solution annealing. This long heat treatment ensures that the carbon contained in the metal is optimally distributed through the stainless steel. This chemical process further protects the steel from corrosion. One important process is quenching the steel in water. The disadvantage of this heating process is the enormous amount of energy used by the gas burner. But this too is about to change. The conventional burners will be replaced by a porous burner that uniformly and efficiently heats the furnace. In addition, waste heat from the furnace and ladle heater will be collected and used to heat the building with the help of a heat exchanger. The resource-conserving ladle heating station was supported by the German Ministry for the Environment's Environmental Innovation Program. Such programs are available to other companies as well. Environmentally friendly and innovative technologies are an important resource for companies. These measures are supported at the state and federal level because they help to make companies competitive in the long term. And these measures ensure that Germany remains a good place to do business. The Schmeis Steelworks see a bright future for their Pirna and Langenfeld locations.
That's also due to their optimal use of resources. The future will not only see more efficiently produced rotors for high pressure pumps or nozzle rings for large scale turbochargers, but also an even greater abundance of artistic figures and reliefs.